2022. Tops Stadium Club Chrome. Full, no, not full case. Sorry, half a case. Half a case. Eight boxes. Let's take it out of the oven. Looks crispy. Let's see if the pizza's good. I wonder if D is now, I don't know if D is, D is probably, I don't know if he's old enough for that, but it's close. I don't think D is old enough for that. Is it called Stadium Club, June? They call it Beam Team in the soccer also, huh? It says very clearly one on-card auto in every box. I really think that they shorted us an auto in one of the earlier breaks tonight. I think it was like a few, in a couple breaks ago, number 16. I think they really shorted us an auto. When we hit an orange and somebody said, oh, we got an orange, so that's why we didn't get an auto. I think that's BS. I think that it very clearly says one on card auto in every box. The only disclaimer is it might be a redemption. We didn't get one in that box. That was weird. Nothing, Wilden. And you complain to Backer, and he probably gives you a little bit of credit because he feels bad. Glitches but go both ways, you know? In that last break, we had 12. We had two extra autos. We had like 12 or 13 autos in that last break that we did of this. Is that why you're saying that? They're not going to give you an auto if they short you an auto, usually. I don't think there's anything you can do about that. Oh, man. The background is gold on that card. I, th I thought we had a super, but no. Yeah, but I can't... I can't get my number. I can't get my head straight together, Wilder. I don't remember if that was the last break, if it was the break before that. We have that Harper up there. I guess that I think that was from last break. Damn, Chris, you go all out. You leave no doors unopened. No. Stone unturned. Some of these pictures crack me up. I'm not sure if that was the first one today. I think Wilden, I think that was number 16. I think number 16 had nine. And number 17 had, had like 12. That sucks, Chris. Only one box and you didn't have it? That sucks.
Wait, so somebody said there are cards numbered to 10 in this? What color are they? If blue is to 199 and green is to 99 and gold is to 50, what other colors am I missing here? Super Fractor, obviously, to one. gold background. It just fakes me out, makes me think it's something special. It's just a base card. Oh yeah, orange. I forgot. I remember orange to 25. I've hit a couple of those already. And then red is to 5. So there is nothing to 10, Wilden. I was misinformed. Nothing to 10, got you. I kind of like this product, man. I kind of like it. I like the photography. I like that the art, basically, that the picture takes up basically the whole card. I like it. They get a, a lot of really unique pictures. The product is 100% chrome. I think this is a cool product. The autos are on card. It's a fun it's a fun product. I think this is a really fun product. Yeah, no, definitely do it, Wilden. Let me know what you get. Send me a picture of the hits after you sleeve them up. We did not break the non-chrome version. I think they usually do, LP, but we didn't this year. I don't really know. I mean, obviously, I haven't been here long enough to know. We definitely didn't break it. If it already came out, we certainly didn't break it.
Can the waves be numbered? No, right? They're just waves. They can't be numbered, right? I haven't hit a numbered wave yet. I assume that they can't be. Wow, look at that Salvador Perez picture. That's great. Some of these pictures are phenomenal. Good luck to everybody. Thank you, Yoda, for the kill. Good luck to everybody. Let's do it. <coughs> Julio Base. Bomb on the refractor. <coughs> Ooh. Ooh. Yepes with an auto to 99 behind Bo Bichette to 25. Wow. Getting us spicy very quickly. Bo Bichette, 6 out of 25 with some chrome dust in there. Let's get a clean one. There we go. Much better. Bo Bichette to 25. 6 out of 25. And then Yepes. On card auto, 23 out of 99 for St. Louis to Tony. Numbered ink and number to 25 right away. No waiting, as we like to say. Julio, team of the future. Oh, I see blue. I think I see blue. Yes, sir. It's Jorge Polanco to 199 for the Twins. Man, I hate how they write the Twins logo here. It basically looks like the Reds. It's like you have to like tilt it to see the T. Otherwise, it basically just looks like the Reds. Meanwhile, it's like every other team is like normal. <laughs> it's like, it's like, why did you do that? <laughs> Orioles. Otani in the future. Griffey insert. The beam team of Devas. I think we exhausted most of this hits for the first pile. Bryce Harper on a wave insert, trophy hunting. Refractor of Frank Thomas. Beam team of Soto and that is the first. Of eight wonderful boxes.
Box number two. Gosman to 99 for the Blue Jays. 91 out of 99. I bet on him to win uh, Cy Young this year. Wander in the future. And then an auto of Otto Lopez for the Blue Jays. An auto of Otto to J. Bach. An auto of Otto. Mm, 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 mm. Right, refractor of McClanahan. Dream team of Miggy. Wander on the base. Ashby, Aaron Ashby to 199, 140 something out of 199 for the Brew Crew on the Ashby. 148 out of Sorry, I wasn't sure if you're asking me or if you're asking uh, Wilden because I'm not sure. What's up, Mark? But I think um, I think the answer is that there are, but I honestly don't have the slightest clue. I'm just guessing. Based on what Wilden was saying, I think so, but I, I really have no idea. Zach Wheeler, that's a refractor. Hard to tell sometimes. Fair amount of warp on some of these cards, but I'm sure nothing that won't flatten out in a case after being sleeved. Hello. Hello, mate. Let's put another shrimp on the bobby. This is an orange card. It's an orange Cincinnati red. I think it might be autographed. It is. Look at that. Orange ink of La Dolomite for Cincinnati to the Yoda. 23 out of 25 on La Dolo on card rookie autograph for the Reds. Nice card. Yeah, that's yeah, that's Chris's dude. Chris is a buyer. I don't know if there's going to be any comps on that thing yet. It's a sweet Lodolo card, though. It's the lowest numbered auto I've hit so far out of this product, for sure. All right, we still have three quarters of this beautiful break left. Let's keep going. This is great. This is good stuff here. That was a nice hit. This is the second half of the case, too, so... Maybe this is just a really hot half. Some inserts. Refractor of Verdun. Carlos. For the Giants. Miggy in front of a wave. It's the beam team wave of Judge for the Yankees going to Higgins. It's our second wave. What is it, like one a box? On, or No, less. The wave early short print. What are they, one every couple boxes, I guess? Frankie Montas on the refractor. I think we have a hit coming up here.
It's a gold Dale Murphy for the Braves. 24 out of 50. To the fan. Lots of nice color pouring out of this case so far. There's Keith Hernandez and the refractor of the picture of the picture that I like. And Biggio, he was so good, man. For the Astros, he was so good. <laughs> the second best Dale. Yeah. We're number one. There's a hit coming up. It's blue. It's a blue Kenley Jansen. For the Braves. He's a good player. Good player. Kenley Jansen, the closer. It's a 199 on the blue piece. All right, one more hit right here. Ooh, Bryce Elder. Bryce Elder Auto. I couldn't tell if it was the Basil Dazzle or the next card because this didn't have a number on it. I do kind of like it, Demo. Yeah. I kind of like these pictures and stuff. I like that they at least got unique with the pictures. I do like it. There's there's some things that I really do like about it. They use different pictures every year, obviously, but yeah. Now the checklist is, yeah, the auto list maybe. Yeah, it's got really good pictures, Mark. I like that they use the full the full card for the picture. I, I like that it's chrome. Um, I, I understand that you have an issue with the auto checklist. Nice picture of Teoscar there on the refractor. But... Yeah, I like it. Hideki Matsui. These pictures are great. Wander Destiny. I I'm just a sucker for the footage. Couple hits in this handful. Here's a blue right here. It's Yuri Guriel to 199. Why the blue is to 199, I don't know. I like this picture of Salvador blowing a bubble with the bat with the weight on it. Yep, that has a number on it. It's a green beam team. GBT, green beam team. All right, Wilden, let's find a Dodger. Let's find a Dodger for the Wilden. Fran Mill Refractor. All right, another hit coming up. There's Julio Urias playing soccer on his card. Torkelson beam team. And there's Brendan Donovan on the autograph, the rookie autograph. I like that. For Tony and the Cardinals. Brendan Donovan, I like him. I think he's going to be good. Having a nice start to the year so far. I like the Donovan. I like the Donovan rookie beast. I like his signature, yeah. I think you were the first one to turn me on to him, Henny, but now I've seen the light, and it looks like he's handily winning the um the leadoff man job. He was supposed to platoon it. Willie Stargell right on top there to 25. My favorite number, 16. Nope, lying. 18. 18. Out of 25 on the Willie Stargell for the Pirates. Going to the Yoda. Who was second? Quan? 
Who came in second? Bobby Witt in the future. Torque base and a wave of Taylor Ward for the Angels. Yeah, he's just good. <laughs> he's just good. He's got to be able to hit from both hit both uh, both sides though. That's what they're worried about. Is that he can only hit one side. What's up, Fryer? If he can hit both sides, then it's in the bag. Yeah, but they don't see it that way yet. I mean, they are starting him every game now, but I'm saying the plan before the year began was not to play him every game. He's just doing so much at the plate that he's not giving them a choice to, but to play him, but to start him as much as they can. That's pretty crazy, um, Friar. <laughs> It's a pretty damn good card. A Jeter Mariano dual auto? That's sick. Garrett Mitchell? Didn't he light up the Mets the other day or whatever? What are we talking about now? Jim Abbott refractor. Oh, you're talking about fantasy? Are you talking about fantasy? That's amazing, Fryer. Congrats. Here's a Bobby win on the Destiny. And then we have Shohei, team of the future, on the uh, wave nice there's Austin Meadows refractor Nick Plummer base auto for the Mets Los Mets I mean I'm happy that I drafted him he had a nice game even if he crushed my Mets I realized after the fact that you were talking about fantasy I was like what is he talking about Garrett Mitchell I was like, he wasn't trying to buy the Brewers anywhere. You haven't hit any Garrett Mitchell. There's other people that got taken. Um, right before I was going to take them that are also doing really well. For what it's worth. Joey Votto on the beam team. Dylan Cease. Cease and desist. On the refractor of the Chicago White Sox. Acuna Jr. He's probably just going to win MVP, isn't he, this year? Matty Chapman. Wow. That's number to five. A red 
out of nowhere for Jaybok and the Blue Jays. Three out of five, Matty Chapman. Did not see that coming. It's not like the, the colors don't pop like that. Yeah, a lot of people do, Mark. <laughs> a lot of people do. You know what always is surprising to me, Mark? Is when I know about, like, that sort of stuff and other people don't. Because, like, I'm supposed to be old. It's like the young people should know everything there is to know about computers. Yes. Yes, Mark, I am. <laughs> I am good with that stuff. Yes. <laughs> Blue behind the torque. It's going to be a Doris Garcia to one ninety nine. Yeah, I like when it's all automatic. You know, Mark, when you just like enter something and you've already got your formulas done, so it's just done. O'Neill Cruz on the beam team makes me think of Dream Team. hit coming up here the hits are thick there's Thurman Munson on the refractor so besides the refractors you can always tell the hits are thick refractor of Clayton Kershaw nope that's a gold that's a gold a golden Clayton 14 out of 50 on the Dodger gold for the Wilden let's go Matty W. 14 out of 50. On one of the greatest Dodger pitchers ever, which is quite a feat to say those words. Yes, Mark, many times. <laughs> yes, I read what you just read very quickly. The answer is yes, I've done that. And people just like, their head explodes. You're just like, dude. <laughs> I didn't do that much. I just know how to use the program. <laughs> These pictures are great. I really do like the pictures in this product. I, I do. What can I say? Two hits right here. You know what? One hit. <laughs> one. Let's put one down. Blue. Blue rookie. Spencer Strider Blue to 199 for the Braves. He's really good, man. Pena Base, Tatis, and yeah. Let's continue. Here's another hit right here. Come. It's a green team of the future, Vladdy Jr. to 99 on the team of the future. 12 out of 99 on the Vladdy. What what number is Vladdy? What jersey number is Vladdy? What do you see, 41 or 12 or 14? What jersey number is Vladdy? Twenty-seven. Jeez, that was way off. There he is again on the destiny. Kevin Smith with the action throw shot on card autograph for the Oakland A's and Broom Sweepy. Bay sink, baby. O'Neill base refractor of Alex Kirilov. Refractor, excuse me, green of Roy Campanella going to the Dodgers. Roy Campanella. 
This is from like my dad's. Yeah, my yeah, exactly. This is like my dad's childhood. 55 out of 99, Roy Campanella. He was a Dodger fan. My dad was a Brooklyn Dodger fan. Gabriel Arias. Beam team. It's Bobby Witt. Refractor of Semyon. It's Jackson Kowar. What's up, kiddo? What up? How's it going? This is Jeff. What's up? <laughs> nice to meet you. Yeah, good to meet yeah. you. Andrew, you're opening Chrome. Yeah, doing a little stadium club. No, but who else, who else does this while they while they break? Nobody. Do you have anybody else that organizes? I was just talking to Hawk. He, he, he said he said the auto checklist needs to be a little better. It's too much. There's too many players. That's what he just said. Yeah, Steve Carlton. Yes, yeah, it's like I guess like that's the thing. Like this is. The auto checklist is big, but the, I honestly, I mean, I, I, you want me to tell you my, I mean, I, this is my first time ever seeing the product. You want me to tell you the pros and cons in my eyes? Yeah. As like a fresh, a fresh look, right? Okay. I, I love that. I think that a lot of these products, they, they have, they, you know, the, the companies get lazy and they'll use the same picture over and over again. And for that reason, I do think that the nice, the like the variation of this picture of everybody having a different picture, even if like Clavin's holding a hockey stick, like I think it's great. I think that the pictures are really great. I think that people like seeing the unique pictures. I also like the picture takes up the whole card. I think that's really nice. Probably. Yep, it uses the whole card. I think it's chrome, so it's the quality's fine. The color of the card, like the colored ones, where you put the color, just in the lines, and in the little stadium chrome emblem, to me. That's not a big enough difference. I, I feel like you guys could do, they could do better with the color. Uh, Duran on the refractor. We talked about the photos of like how they just take this, you know, series one and then chrome. Yeah. So lazy about it. Yeah, but this is like way more interesting. Would you change, you know? Would you change series one to like, let's just say you have series one and then tops chrome. Should those be different images? So we talked about this. Yeah, I no, think no. they should be. You think they should? Even the base? I, I, I could I could fix your, which is, which is, oh no, which is the one that we're opening with the class one class that's gold label that's being discontinued? Gold label, yeah. You know what's so sick? I was, I don't know if you heard me ranting about this on the stream the other day. Gold label, I know it's already being discontinued, so it's already over, but just for what it's worth, it's a great idea with horrible execution. Like, there's actually, like, a lot of good idea in what they did with, like, Class 1, Class 2, Class 3. But the execution of how they did it was just piss poor. It's like there's, it's, it, there is some merit to that idea. If, there's, it, if I'm them, what I would do is I would take the good aspects of Gold Label and I would maybe take the good aspects of a product like, not this, but another, another product that feels like a loser. And then like combine the good, the, you know what I mean? Well, what's interesting is like gold label, like the frame cards, they just put them into gilded, and it's gilded, like gilded, transcendent. Yeah, they, it's all yeah. the same stuff. Yeah. You think combine? Even can't you hit them in museum too? They yeah. have. It's, yeah. it's I think cool. having three different pictures for the players and having different classes, I think there is actual value in that. that. I just think that their execution of it was terrible, like. You can't. You can open a pack, and it's you have no idea. You have to squint with a microscope to to know which class you got, and that's like not. What, they should have really made it a very big difference in the class one, class two, class three. Where if I'm holding a card from a distance, I know immediately which class it is. You don't. I shouldn't have to fucking squint and like look at the like they shouldn't all look the same like yeah, that. Well, you would agree with that. I'm saying class yeah. one, class yeah. two, class three. The whole point of it. Oh, different picture. Like the cards are supposed to be different. So then make the picture. Make the whole card look different. Make the whole card look different. You make an insert look different from a regular card. Make the whole card look different. Yeah. Make class one, class two, class three. Make them all look very different. So that if I'm holding it like this, I immediately know just from the design of the card which class it is. Like they butchered that aspect of it. There's nothing wrong with doing a different picture for class one, class two, class three. In fact, I think that's a good idea. I just think, I think it was a good idea that was poorly executed. Remember, this is my first year opening it up. Like, I don't really know any of this. I'm, I'm, an, I'm the, you know, wander on the rookie piece. Wave, 
Wave of Bobby Witt. These are short print on the Destiny. Yeah, I, that's what I'm saying, Henny. I think they could take this torque on the Destiny. I think they could take winning aspects, winning concepts from potentially losing products. There's Matt Veerling on the on the auto, the rookie auto, on card auto. I like the fact that these are on card autos, and they give them a nice big amount of space to sign. I like that. I think they could take. I could think they could take the. Uh, the losing as the winning aspects of the losing products combine them and they could make some really good stuff. All right, here's a blue. It's Andre Dawson, the Hawk for the Montreal Expos. This goes to the Nationals. Man, he had a quick bat. The Hawk had a quick bat. I remember when he used to play. He had a very he, he had a quick bat. He would he would he was a big boy, but he would sometimes he would choke up. He would get that bat around fast. I don't know how Core Kings did it, Trav. Otherwise, I would be able to give you a more of an answer. I don't think Class 2 should have been numbered. I don't even think that Class 3 should be numbered. I actually disagree with you, Rex. I think that... They made class three pretty short print. They made class three is pretty short print. Like, I, like I pull out all the class threes. They're not that many of them, you know. I just think they should have been more recognizable. The differences, you know, that to me that's the biggest problem. But that's just one product. I mean, you know, like, like Stadium Club. Like this is. I think this is a nice product. I think the checklist is a little big. With regards to the autos, there's the beam, the, the beam team. People like the beam teams. It's not easy to find an, an insert that people like. They like the beam teams. I think we have here's a Lindor on a refractor for my Mets. We have one hit coming up. I can I can see the thick card from a mile away. It's going to be El Huris Montero for the Rockies. I didn't see how the game finished, but I was watching this game earlier. He was three for three. I don't know how he finished the game, but when I was watching the game, he was three for three. Montero, I was looking a little deeper into his stats recently. Man, he 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 swings away, bro. He swings the bat. He does not like to take pitches. He swings. He swings. He strikes out a fair amount, and he does not take many walks, but he gets his hits. He's like an extremely poor man's Vladdy Guerrero baby in training. He's got potential. I agree with you, Henny. I think he I think he could be good. Rascal, I agree with you. I think he could be good. I think he's got potential. He's young. Ooh, this O'Neill Cruz. We didn't... Wow. I said we had a thick card, and it was a hit. But I didn't stop on it because I didn't notice it. This is orange, baby. O'Neill Cruz orange beam team to 25. 17 out of 25, two off the jersey number. It's an orange beam team for the Yoda and the Pirates. Very nice. Did not notice that was orange. I mean, hey, Henny, for, a, for he's playing in Colorado. It's a good place to swing away, <laughs> in my opinion. You know? He's, uh, to answer your question, Henny, high up on the food chain. Let's just leave it at that. High up on the food chain. This looks like a green. It's a green Colton Wong. To 99 for the Brew Crew. 
Going to Chris. Colton Wong, 93 out of 99. Ringing that bell, baby. Here's a blue. Sandy Alcantara. Nice smile there. Good picture for the Marlins. I really like the photography in this product. I really do. I really do. Oh yeah, he's snazzy, honey. He's a snazzy dude. Torkelson on the team of the future. Beam team. Bryce Harper, one hit left. Here, we'll save it for the end there. Uh, yeah. Austin Riley, team of the future. Yes, he is. He's really good. Riley is really good. I should have bet on him for MVP this year. He's really good. And our last hit is going to be a blue. Oh, a team color match for the Mets. A blue indoor. I like that picture too. Man, the pictures are great. The pictures are great in this product. That's, that's, everybody was right. Stadium Club has the ill bomb diggity pictures. It's true. It really does. It's really nice. Really nice. They use good pictures in this product. I like it. I'm a sucker for it. I dig it. I like opening this product. I don't care if it's not the greatest product in history. I don't care if it's not the number one or not the number one 100 product. To me, it doesn't matter. I like seeing these pictures. These are nice pictures. I think this is a nice product. Let us do a recap. Here we go. Some inserts that I sleeved of the big names. Base cards I sleeved. Of the big names. He's a nice guy, Henny. Be nice. I I think uh, which walk which Walker. I think Collis for sure. Oh, Jordan Walker, you mean? Here are the refractors. Yeah, Jordan Walker, yet. Yeah. Here are the numbered pieces. Blue and Door and Alcantara, Green, Colton Wong. That's a 25 orange beam team of O'Neill Cruz. A green team of the future, Vladdy Jr. Golden Kershaw. Red Matt Chapman. A red Matt Chapman for the Blue Jays. Willie Starger, 25. Arenado beam team to 99. A Golden Dale Murphy, Gosman to 99. Watch him win the Cy Young this year. Bo Bichette to 25. Some waves. Destiny, Otani team of the future. Taylor Ward, Aaron Judge beam team, and Bryce Harper trophy hunter. Honestly, some decent waves. You only get five in a whole case, so they're, they're pretty short print. Base autos, Montero, Veerling, Kevin Smith, Nick Plummer, Brendan Donovan, Bryce Elder, and Otto Lopez. I like the Brendan Donovan in there. And then some numbered ink. We got Ladolo to 25 for the Reds and Yepes to 99 for the Cardinals. That was the break. Eight boxes of Topps Stadium Club Chrome. Thank you for joining. That was the second half of the case. I believe the next one will be a freshie. Thank you.